Gallbladder and bile duct cancer is a rare form of cancer that is difficult to diagnose. The early signs are non-specific and are common to many other conditions. Taking us through this discussion is Professor Mudoni Musibi, a medical oncologist at the Nairobi Hospital. Come with me. Uh, I'm Muton uh, Musibi. I'm a medical oncologist, uh, meaning I treat cancers using drugs, whether they are swallowed or they are injected. Now, a gallbladder cancer is a layer type of cancer, and I want to imagine the reason you're saying people don't know about it is the fact that we, both us and media, hardly talk about it. Uh, we are used to cervix, we are used to breast, because that is where most advocacy has been. But it is, should be known that we have a cancer month for the different cancers of the body. It should also be known that any organ in the body can get cancer apart from two and because they are dead. That is the hair and the nails. They can get affected by the other cancers, but by themselves, they cannot get cancer. So going forward, I'm sure we should have discussions of a cancer every month, yeah? or oh, the way until we get to the breast that we commonly know. That's a tricky question because it also comes down to who are we as human beings? How is every other person uh, created? We have what we call uh, genes, uh, but from what many people have observed, it is more in older women. Uh, a bit of it has been related to uh, obesity because most women as we grow older, we also tend to gain a bit of weight. Uh, and, but there's no particular thing that will tell you it is women versus men. Again, it is the most confusing uh, cancer as far as presentation is concerned because most of what present, uh, most people present with is vague symptoms. Majority will say, I started having abdominal discomfort, abdominal pain for long. So what happens is within our health system or within the people themselves, they'll get treated severely for or peptic ulcer disease or acidity. Some will even get treated for anemia irritable bile syndromes and all those uh, kind of things. But majority, uh, the beginning is abdominal discomfort. Mm -hmm. Then they'll come to acidity because uh, what happens is there is reflux or return of the bile back into the, into the, abdo I mean, into the gastrointestinal system. So that actually uh, makes people get acidity. As the, the, the growth goes, uh, advances, then people tend to get yellowness of eyes, what we call jaundice. And eventually, there are many people that be present with features of uh, liver failure, uh, kidney failure, poor feeding, they are wasted, and uh, eventually it's uh, a bit late when they do come with those uh, uh, signs. So the most common one is a presence or somebody harboring what we call gallstones. Uh, in majority of patients, they have the gallstones and they may not cause any issues at all. 
but depending on the uh, compositions or how long they are, how many they are, how big they are, there are people who tend to, to progress on to, to get the uh, gallbladder uh, cancer. It is thought that the persistent irritation of those gallbladders on the lining is what predisposes to, to cancer. We also have uh, infections, uh, things we call uh, cholecystitis. Uh, if not treated very well, eventually the inflammation tends to, to, to become uh, cancerous. Uh, people with the liver disease, in a way or the other, they have been also shown to have a, better in, uh, a more increase in, in gallbladder cancer. Uh, in us, this particular thing that is related to gallbladder cancer, there isn't. I would say it is common, and uh, come back to the fact that many sometimes also don't get diagnosed because uh, being uh, in that small organ you call the gallbladder, there are many uh, patients that may not eventually get to facilities where uh, good radiological examinations can be done and eventually may actually die without being diagnosed. But uh, in the statistics that we have, uh, I wouldn't say it is far from, it is not within the above, I mean the top 10, but it is, it is quite recognisable. Mm, that's tricky. But any, uh, any of our behaviours that will tend to uh, lead to weight gain, uh, alcohol, smoking, most of those are eventually, considering they also alter the the major body uh, habitats and uh, uh, the GIT, the gastrointestinal system, they may also predispose. We have infections like hepatitis, which might actually come in with uh, uh, drug users, may also increase the, uh, the, the possibility of getting the cancers. First of and uh, is the person themselves knowing their body, yeah, and actually getting to know why all of a sudden am I getting these symptoms? Why am I all the time getting the acidity? I've not changed my diet. I've not changed many things within my life, day-to-day uh, -day life that will tell you something is not right. The second one is high index of suspicion. Because when you come to the healthcare providers, then you're given, more often than not, you'll be treated for dyspepsia or hyperacidity. But if you're going once and going twice, then the healthcare provider should actually entertain a possibility of something else. Now that is where things like uh, endoscopy, that is looking through the, the, the intestines or the way uh, to the duodenum where the, the gallbladder usually is attached, can be ordered. And more often than not, sometimes that may also not pick the, the problem. What it usually shows is the uh, green stuff from the bile may be coming back into the, uh, into the intestines or back into the stomach that should trigger the healthcare provider to think what could be the, the cause. Now, from there, we usually go to radiology, and we can start with what is called ultrasound, but depending on the size or where that particular tumor is, sometimes it may also miss. And uh, when somebody is asked to do several of those radiological from ultrasound to CT scan, sometimes to even doing what we call magnetic resonance imaging. It is the fact that sometimes it is too tiny that it cannot be seen. But the diagnostic is from the symptoms, index of suspicion, and then the radiological uh, examinations.
like almost every other cancer, treatment is a combined method. Okay, for gallbladder specifically, the best and if possible, the one that can give you a possibility of cure is surgery. And what that says is it has to be diagnosed as early as possible at a point that surgery is, is, a, is a, can be done. Now, for those that may not have surgery, for one reason or the other, we have uh, the use of uh, chemotherapy, that is drugs. And there are also others that may actually benefit from what we call uh, radiotherapy. In majority of patients, they may have almost all those three modalities uh, taking place. What we can't forget is the branch of medicine called palliative care, because it takes care of uh, many aspects. Pain management, the support of both the patient and, uh, and, the, and the relatives, because the journey sometimes is not uh, uh, quite uh, uh, good. Like we had from the beginning, many present quite late because of the, the delays that come along the journey. So the palliative care uh, team also have to be involved right from the beginning. Uh, for management-wise, all these modalities are available in this country, both the drugs, the surgeons. We have a, a huge team of uh, trained hepatobiliary, they are called hepatobiliary surgeons. Uh, we have the radiotherapy services. Well, suffice to say, we only have it now in Nairobi, but uh, hopefully we should have it in, the, in a wider region because the work is being done for that. Drugs are available. We also have the support for the National Hospital Insurance Fund. Uh, a few of the patients might be referred outside uh, because a bit of uh, the targeted kinds of surgery is still not available. Things like we call cyber knife. But for the populations that we have seen so far, there is a very, very small uh, number that presents at that age that requires only that spe uh, specialized surgery. Mm, yes and no. Because if you are obese, you need to hit the road. Yeah? Uh, knowing yourself yeah, and having the normal regular checkups. Most of us Kenyans hardly want to see a doctor unless you are really sick. So most of uh, uh, us should be keen to know what is happening with our bodies and present uh, early enough for, or for checkups. Of course, we have the immunizations that are going on. And the children, uh, the mothers should actually keep to the, to the uh, KP because we have hepatitis B uh, included in that uh, schedule. Uh, the rest is uh, the normal alcohol smoking, which uh, uh, also complicates all many other uh, cancers. Genetics we can't change. A woman has to remain the woman. Yeah? But again, there are a few families that have different cancers. We should not forget that. And they may tend to have a higher risk of developing the, the same uh, gallbladder cancers. Mm -hmm.